Rapper Sean Kingston and his mother in court charged with federal fraud offenses. Rapper and singer Sean Kingston and his mother have been indicted on federal charges of committing more than $1 million worth of fraud. The beautiful girl singer, 34 years old, and his 61-year-old mother Janice Turner are accused of participating in a scheme to defraud victims of high-end speciality vehicles, jewelry and other goods through the use of fraudulent documents. Back in May, a SWAT team in Florida raided the singer's rented mansion in a suburb of celebrity favorite Fort Lauderdale and arrested Turner over fraud and theft linked to the installation of a gigantic TV. Kingston was arrested later the same day at Fort Irwin, a U.S. Army base in California's Mojave Desert where he was performing and charged with similar offenses at state level. The pair made their first appearances in a federal court in Miami on Friday. According to the federal indictment, the mother and son falsely claimed that they had executed electronic bank transfers and other payment transfers for high-end items when no such transactions had taken place. Police said they then kept over $1 million worth of fraudulently purchased items despite not paying for them. From October 2023 to March this year, the pair allegedly defrauded almost $500,000 worth of jewelry, more than $200,000 from the Bank of America, $160,000 from a Cadillac Escalade dealer, more than $100,000 from First Republic Bank and $86,000 from the maker of customized beds. Robert Rosenblatt, the lawyer representing Kingston and his mother, did not respond to a request for comment from the Associated Press. He previously said they looked forward to addressing the charges and were confident of a successful resolution. <coughs> Family so broken after woman with heart of gold killed by her pet dog. The family of a woman killed by her pet dog have said they are so broken following her death. Kelly Riley, 33 years old, was attacked by an American Bulldog at an address in Wexford Road, Coventry, around 12.15 p.m. on Monday. Police were called to the property and said she was treated at the scene by West Midlands Ambulance Service, but despite their best efforts she sadly died a short time later. In a tribute released through West Midlands Police, her family said she was the most beautiful, kind-hearted young lady and had a heart of gold. She is going to be truly missed by everyone that she knew from family to friends, they said. Her loved ones also described her as the most amazing mom, daughter, sister, auntie, fiancé, niece, cousin and friend to many. The family said they were finding it difficult to come to terms that they are never going to see her beautiful face again. Ms. Riley would light up any room she walked into, and she had the biggest heart and cared for everyone around her, they continued. Kelly's passing has hit her family, friends, and wider community very badly. Kelly was a very family-orientated young lady and would do anything for anyone, the statement added. She will forever be in our hearts and will continue to live on in all our lives. The ambulance service said the woman was found in a critical condition, adding, with help from police, the woman was rapidly removed from the property due to safety concerns. Ambulance staff performed advanced life support but tragically, despite their best efforts, nothing could be done to save the woman and she was confirmed dead on scene a short time later. They also said no one else was injured in the incident. Following the attack, the dog was humanely destroyed. Police said Ms. Riley's death has been reported to the coroner. Adidas says sorry to Bella Hadid over So Campaign Row. Adidas has apologized to Bella Hadid after the supermodel was removed from a campaign that referenced an Olympics at which Israeli athletes were killed by pro-Palestinian terrorists. Adverts featuring the U.S. supermodel for a relaunch of an Adidas shoe from the 1972 Munich Olympics were pulled on Friday, after pro-Israel groups called them sick and offensive. Hadid, whose father is Palestinian, has been outspoken against Israel's war on Hamas. After reports suggested Hadid was considering legal action against Adidas, the company has now issued an apology to the model and a number of others. 
connections continue to be made to the terrible tragedy that occurred at the Munich Olympics due to our recent SL72 campaign. These connections are not meant, and we apologize for any upset or distress caused to communities around the world. We made an unintentional mistake. We also apologize to our partners, Bella Hadid, ASAP Nast, Jules Count, and others, for any negative impact on them and we are revising the campaign, it said on its Adidas Originals Instagram feed. Palestinian terrorists from the group Black September killed 11 Israeli athletes and a German police officer at the 1972 Games. The American Jewish Committee said Adidas was using a vocal anti-Israel model for the campaign, which they said is either a massive oversight or intentionally inflammatory. The chief executive of the combat anti-Semitism movement also said, to have her launch a shoe commemorating an Olympics when so much Jewish blood was shed is just sick. After pulling the adverts on Friday, Adidas said in a statement, We are conscious that connections have been made to tragic historical events though these are completely unintentional and we apologize for any upset or distress caused. As a result we are revising the remainder of the campaign. <coughs> Unprecedented climate change slowing Earth's rotation and making days longer. Rising sea levels caused by climate change are making the Earth fatter at the equator, slowing down its rotation and making the days longer. As polar ice caps have melted, water has shifted from the poles to the equator, significantly increasing how oblate or fat the Earth is since 1900 and lengthening its days. Adding a few milliseconds to a 24-hour day may not sound much, but it has implications for precise timekeeping and space navigation, the authors of the study, published in Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, said. The pace of change is higher than at any point in the 20th century, they found. If greenhouse gas emissions continue at their current rate, the length of the day will continue to increase and could reach a rate of an extra 2.62 milliseconds per century by the end of the 21st century, the study said. That would make climate change a bigger contributor to long-term variations in day length than lunar tides. These findings signify the unprecedented effect of climate change on planet Earth, the study said. The study follows research published in Nature in March that looked at the effect of climate change on global timekeeping. It found more rapid melting of polar ice would slow the Earth more rapidly and could influence how we measure time. Coordinated Universal Time, which is also known as UTC, is the international standard for time measurement and is based on about 450 atomic clocks at laboratories around the world. Every so often, a leap second is added to maintain the link between atomic time and the Earth's rotation. The author of the Nature Study, Professor Duncan Agnew from the Scripps Institution of Oceanography, explained how more water at the equator affects how fast the Earth spins. He compared it to a skater spinning on the ice. If they hold their arms out, their spinning is slower, but if they bring them into their body, then they speed up he told the Natural History Museum. <laughs> Mr. Beast's co-host Ava Chris Tyson quits YouTube channel and denies grooming allegations. Ava Chris Tyson, one of YouTube star Mr. Beast's friends and collaborators, has quit the channel after grooming allegations, which she denies. The YouTuber, 28 years old, was accused earlier this month of sending inappropriate messages to a minor, reportedly a 13-year-old, while she was aged 20. Tyson, who has denied the allegations, announced she had mutually decided it's best I permanently step away from all things Mr. Beast and social media to focus on my family and mental health. I would like to apologize for any of my past behavior or comments if it hurt or offended anyone. It was not my intent, she said. Tyson added, I never groomed anyone. The person who gets brought up in these accusations has vocally supported that they are false. Having said that, I humbly apologize to anyone I have hurt with my unacceptable social media posts, past actions, and to those who may feel betrayed by how I used to act online. 
to lump these two factors together to create a narrative that my behavior extended beyond bad edgy jokes is disgusting and did not happen. In past years, I have learned that my old humor is not acceptable. I cannot change who I was, but I can continue to work on myself. I don't want these accusations to impact the hundreds of people who work at Mr. Beast, which is why I have stepped away. The allegations first emerged in a YouTube video last month. The alleged victim, who was named online, said videos claiming Tyson groomed him are massive lies and twisting the truth. Ava never did anything wrong and just made a few edgy jokes. I was never exploited or taken advantage of. This situation takes away from children who are actively being exploited every day online. I am not a victim of anything being claimed in these videos or at all," he added. In 2023, Tyson shared she was transgender and had started taking gender-affirming hormone therapy. She has regularly received transphobic abuse online. Tyrannosaurus Rex could have been even bigger than previously thought. Tyrannosaurus Rex could have been even bigger than previously thought, new research suggests. Scientists now believe the dinosaur could have been 70% heavier and 25% longer. The largest of the species may have weighed roughly 15 tons instead of 8.8 .8 and measured 15 meters instead of 12. Dr. Jordan Mallon, of the Canadian Museum of Nature in Ottawa, said scientists really have no idea from the fossil record about the absolute sizes they might have reached. It's fun to think about a 15-ton T-Rex, but the implications are also interesting from a biomechanical or ecological perspective. The study, conducted by Dr. Mallon and Dr. David Hone of Queen Mary University of London, used computer modeling to assess a population of T. rex based on living alligators, which were chosen for their large size and close kinship with the dinosaurs. Taking into consideration factors such as population size, growth rate, lifespan, and the incompleteness of fossil records, researchers said their findings suggest there must have been larger dinosaurs out there that have not yet been found. They said the largest known T. rex fossils probably fall in the 99th percentile, representing the top 1% of body size, but bigger could still be found. Dr. Hone said, some isolated bones and pieces certainly hint at still larger individuals than for which we currently have skeletons. However, to find an animal in the top 99.99% of body size, researchers think they would have to excavate fossils at the current rate for another 1,000 years.